This is the new Optus 5G internet. Pretty cool, looks new design, and we finally got rid of the Nokia Fast Mile. Now, as much as the Nokia Fast Mile was good, it had a lot of limitations, such as it would be able to get the 5G speed, which is great. However, the Wi-Fi speed just could not deliver. It would only deliver if you plugged in an external modem, which means you have to buy and fork out more money to get an external modem. However, with the new Optus 5G internet, no need. You're running Wi-Fi uh, wi 7 coming soon, but at the moment you are running Wi-Fi 6, which runs really well. And if you've got a Samsung device and you connect to it, you'll know you're running Wi-Fi 6 because a little 6 will pop up on the top of your Wi-Fi when you connect. And obviously Wi-Fi 7 will be available very soon once the software update gets released to the Optus 5G modem. So very good. I just want to show you the back of the modem and then I'm going to show you one little Easter egg kind of thing that I don't understand. And if you guys do, please let us know down below. If you're, or if you're watching Optus, tell me why this exists and why it's there. So at the back of the modem, we basically don't really have much. We've got your external antennas, pretty cool. We've got your SIM, reset, your two LAN connections, or you can set this up as having internet coming into the modem if you want. You've got one USB power uh, uh, power button and then obviously your power in, okay? Now, where this little Easter egg is, which I probably can't show you in the video, it's really hard to find, because I don't have a flashlight on me, but at the back of this modem, let me see if I can find it for you guys. Oh, it's actually right under this dot. So it's literally right here. You can't see it, but if you kind of look downwards this way, you can see it. There is a micro USB port, but why? Why is that there? Okay, Optus or anyone knows what it is. Why is there a micro USB at the bottom of this modem? Why is it there? I would love to know, guys. Please let me know. I honestly have no idea why it's there. Obviously, the front of the modem is pretty basic. You've got your 5G strength. Over here, you've got your scan the QR code to connect to Wi-Fi, easy as. You can switch Wi-Fi on or off, easy as. You can turn WPS on if you don't want to enter in a password, easy as. Uh, brightness screen, you know, everything on there. Uh, yeah, and if you need help, the last option just scans it over and you can open up the Optus app to talk to someone. So that's everything there. Let's connect to the Wi-Fi and show you how fast it is. Now, it's pretty incredible, I would say. Um, I'm quite impressed how fast it is. So, let's open up speed test. Now, how you know you're on Wi-Fi 6, on a Samsung specifically, is if it will load. I wish it would focus. Give me a second. See how it says Wi-Fi 6 at the top of that Wi-Fi bar? That means we're running Wi-Fi 6. And as I said, a software update will come out mid-2024 to have Wi-Fi 7. So let's do a speed test. And the speeds are pretty incredible. So as you see, again, around 400. Now, where I normally have this, I normally have this in the ceiling. And I can tell you, I normally get 100% around 700 megabits, so which is pretty impressive. Uh, but again, it all depends on what area you are in, where your 5G is, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it depends on speed. But basically in this video, as you can see, we are getting 400 megabits per second. Let's try that one last time. So there you go, it's nearly achieving what I said before, 700. So I've never really got over 700 megabits, I will say. However, I'm pretty happy. Well, this is just incredible right there, nearly 800 there. But I've never, when I've done speed tests, I've never seen it go to 800 megabits, okay? Um, that's just the honest truth, what I've, what I've seen on this modem. There's been no, never got 800 megabits. But I'm pretty impressed, the fact that this thing is at the ceiling and I'm getting 761. That is pretty impressive. So guys, that's my kind of look at the speed test. It all depends on where you are, what location you are, when, and obviously where you place this modem. If you're gonna place this in like a cupboard or a dark place, like somewhere that can't really get outside and get to the 5G, it's gonna be a bit slower. But yeah, that's currently what I've really experienced, how fast it is, 
And yeah, hopefully this little short video helped you guys out with the speed, some of the ports, and obviously a little bit of the Easter egg micro USB. What is that doing down there? I don't know. Alright guys, let us know down below what you think, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.